Hey, it's the Nerdy Sports Fan talking week four NFL action, and we're into uh, the Raiders at the Colts. Now, um, I think this is going to be a fun matchup. I really do. Um, I don't think anybody expected the Colts to be this good uh, with Andrew Luck retiring. Uh, their defense has really stepped up. Their offensive line never got, you know, had a chance to get worse. They were dominant last season, and they've remained that way. Um, so Brissett hasn't had to be an over-the-top, put-the-team-on-your-shoulders kind of quarterback. Um, he's got talent. He's not a chump. Um, he doesn't have to step into a role that he's not been in yet, though. And that's really helping him. Um, Brissett's not a fantasy starter. Okay, let's get that out of the way. He's, he's a very good, serviceable quarterback for this team and how it's constructed. Um, but no, he's not a fantasy starter. All right, There's plenty of guys that are going to score more than him, so ignore that. But Marlon Mack, I thought he was going to be devalued ridiculously. He's definitely not. Same with T.Y. Hilton. I thought he was going to be devalued ridiculously. Definitely not. Um, the Colts' defense is worth an eye. Okay? Uh, they're not exactly in the toughest division. And right now, look at them. I mean, they're going up against the Raiders. What did the Raiders do last week? Not much. So, um, the Raiders have talent, and uh, but they're all young. Okay? The, the Raiders are still learning to win. And they probably need one more good offseason before they're solid. Um, Colts are solid now. All right? They just got to figure out if Jacoby's the guy. That's it. The rest of this team is built for a deep playoff run. We saw that last season. So, yeah, uh, they, this is going to be a fun game to watch. Okay, the, the Raiders can go off in scoring uh, any week. Uh, they've got a very good staff for it. They've, uh, with uh, Waller, I, th I think his name is, the tight end, uh, he's proven to be very good. And um, the receivers that they picked up from the Chargers, um, they're very good. And, uh, you know, Derek Carr is not an over-the-top kind of quarterback. Um, he's, you know, close to the line of scrimmage distribution guy. Uh, so he's definitely not a fantasy starter, but he's serviceable for this offense. Uh, Jacobs is everything they thought he was going to be when they drafted him. And, uh, you know, the offensive line's better. So, yeah, I... I they can put up points. This defense will... Yeah, the, the Colts' defense is better than the Raiders' offense right now. And the Colts' offense is better than the Raiders' defense right now. So they're definitely going to win. Okay, the Colts have this game in hand. Um, but it's going to be fun to watch. Uh, I like watching the Raiders right now. They're interesting to watch grow. Um, now, the spread is 6.5 points. And... Uh, I take the Colts in that situation all day. I, I think they're probably going to win by more like 10. Marlon Mack is going to dominate the pace of the game. And they have the defense that will play well from ahead. Uh, it's just... It's too much for the Raiders to handle right now, in a road game especially. So the Colts, very, very tough team. Very, very tough team. I mean, they are built like a cold-weather outdoor team, and they play in a dome. Um, so they're just going to hit you in the mouth, okay? They're going to gut-punch you with that running game all game long, and then as soon as you push up front to stop it, they've got T.Y. Hilton over the top whenever they want him. So, um, yeah, it's... It's not a good recipe for the Raiders, the way they're currently constructed, to go up against on the road. And uh, you're going to see that in this game. Okay, as far as who I start fantasy-wise, obviously Marlon Mack, T.Y. Hilton, and the Colts' defense. Put it in there. Okay, you're not going to be uh, disappointed. I don't understand why more teams, uh, more people don't own the Colts' defense in leagues right now. I mean, some of the best scoring defenses are not on anybody's radar at the moment. So uh, 
look into your defense. If you don't have, like, the Bears defense, look into what defenses are out there and what they're scoring compared to your defense. You might be surprised. Um, top ones right now are all in the NFC North, uh, the ones that have. I like the Vikings. I like the Bears. I like the, uh, the Packers. Um, but, yeah, look at your defense and see if the Colts are going to be a better fit. Um, because I think they're going to be. Um, on the Raiders' side of things, Josh Jacobs all day. Uh, I mean, Josh Jacobs left, right, and center. That's their offensive game plan right now. I, I put Waller in there um, as a starter, but the rest of the options receiving-wise are a bit inconsistent. So um, I, I'd avoid a lot of the reception targets for Oakland. Uh, but Waller... That man is gold right now. So we thought tight end was a um, weaker position than it actually is this year, fantasy-wise. And dudes like Waller are the reason for that. So he's a tight end one this week. Um, have fun watching that guy put up some points for you. Um, so, hey, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hit the rest of the videos for uh, more fantasy football advice.